loves me. <sighs> loves me not. Loves me. Hmm. Do people really do this? Valentine's Day is the unofficial day of love, and there's no better way to show someone you love them than by making them something. And a great place to do that would be here at the craft studio. Let me show you around. This is our classroom. It's a bit of a mess right now. It's often kind of a little bit of a mess because we like to make things, and making things is messy. This is our wood shop. We have people who make bookshelves, picture frames, all sorts of house goods. This is our gallery space. This is our ceramic studio. It's the most heavily used space at the craft studio. My favorite thing about working at the craft studio is working with the students. I love how enthusiastic students get when they learn a new thing. What are some of your creative hobbies? I like to uh, like draw sometimes. I uh, have a chalkboard at the house I live at, and I like to you know, occasionally just do some artwork on the chalkboard. I do a little bit of everything. I enjoy crocheting, quilting, uh, watercolor painting. I like to paint with my grandma and grandpa. I like to write uh, short stories. What do you know about the craft studio here on campus? After I know they have like crafternoons and other things. I know it's in the bottom of Memorial and you can, you can sign up for classes. I haven't actually been there yet, but it sounds like a great place. It helps students be able to express themselves, which is a good thing to always have. Do you have a Valentine this year? Yes, I do. Um, I've been with my boyfriend for four years, but we don't really do much on Valentine's Day. It's kind of just a day to like realize that that person's there for you. I do have a Valentine, and most likely she's been wanting to see the new movie American Sniper, and she has not allowed me to go watch it, so that's probably what we're going to do. I don't have a Valentine's this year. I may be going to Mardi Gras with my friends. You have 30 seconds to make a valentine. Hopefully it'll be a masterpiece. Go! So tell me a little bit about your valentine. It says, will you be mine? Which I feel like is a classic valentine's like statement to ask somebody. No matter who you are, uh, you are loved forever and always. It's just like the typical be mine for valentines. I didn't, I didn't get it out in time and then I was going to say, your smile stops the hands of time. You notice there's two lines of each color and I like to think that that's Shows about people and their walks to love. Some never get the chance, some meet and let it go, and some people join up and stay together. For even more information, go to craftstudio.org. And don't forget to check out our Paper Flowers Crafternoon event on Friday, February 13th. You can stop by anytime between noon and 4 p.m. I'm Ariel Ruffin, and this has been your regular dose of ZooQ.